You have a bass voice, but you want to extend it into the low range and you can do that by using the so-called extended vocal techniques. What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of How to Sound Like a Russian Octavist. Today I want to talk about the extended vocal techniques. But before I do that, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. So please click the subscription button below and also click the bell button so you don't miss any videos when I upload those in the future. All right, what are extended vocal techniques? Well, the extended vocal techniques are techniques that a singer can use to extend the vocal range into the higher or lower range. And today we are talking about those techniques that you can use for the lower voice. But I only want to show you those that I know and that I want to demonstrate for you. Let's start with the fry. So the fry is one of many options to extend the voice into the lower range. And how you do that? Well, if you, I don't know, like, like that, and uh, you speaking like that, you are using fry. So that is actually fry and you can use it when you sing for the lower range. And uh, fry allows me myself to go even lower and sing pretty low notes when I want to. But in my personal perspective it is not that powerful at all because I don't have the power to project the fry out because I don't have that much volume at the fry. The next thing I want to talk about are the subharmonics. What are subharmonics? Well the subharmonics are a technique where I use my true, true vocal phonation, but I am also allowing a tone that's one octave lower than that that is produced at the same time. So I'm trying to make a really soft sound. Uh, and there we are. This is the subharmonics and some people have the ability to produce the second, third or fourth subharmonics. So that means they go a fifth lower, one octave, one octave, fifth and so on. And that is absolutely incredible and amazing, but I can't do that. I have not practiced that much, but uh, some people can do that and I can't. Let's talk about the Kagura. Kagura uses the true vocal cords and also the false vocal cords at the same time. And the sound is really bright and it sounds like that. Ah! And that sound is used in the Tuvan and Mongolian overtone singing and also by the Tibetan monks and also by the South African Xhosa woman. They use also Kagura as their main sound source and we can also do some really interesting things with it. And there is a really interesting musical genre, which is called Canto a Tenore. 
and the base of the special uh, type of music uses also Kagura as the main sound source but the bass singer of the special Canto Art Genora style uses also overtones which are produced by the vowels E, A, U. So let's say bim ba dam bam boom, bim ba dam bam boom. So the singer uses the vocals E, A and U. So the next thing I want to talk about is the false chords themselves. So you can use your false chord and you can produce also low notes with them. I can because I didn't practice that so I can demonstrate that for you. So I am really sorry but you can tr practice that and you can use your false chord also to uh, make a lower voice. All right, I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting and we will see us in the next video. Bye bye.